Dave Llewellyn. Tonight, Detroit has lost one of its most iconic voices. Angelo B. Henderson has passed. 7 Action News reporter Julie Bonavich joins us live from the newsroom tonight with more on Henderson's legacy. Julie? Dave, he made such a difference in the Motor City that the best way to describe him is that he made Detroit a better place to live. It's Angelo Henderson hosting your voice. When he wasn't hosting one of Detroit's most popular news talk shows on WCHB, Angelo Henderson was preaching his messages at the pulpit. Uh, Angelo is a huge loss for this city um, because he was more than just a minister, more than just a journalist. 7 Action News editorial director Chuck Stokes says the 51 year old was an advocate. He was as comfortable in the boardrooms articulating for journalists or for this city as he was in the streets talking to the average person and fighting for the things that he believed they should have. The last time Stokes interviewed Henderson was right here at Broadcast House in November for our election webcast. Henderson never skirted around the issues. How can you say race is a factor with Benny Napoleon and race is not a factor with Mike Duggan? So passionate about a better Detroit that Henderson co-founded the Detroit 300 to help police catch the worst of the worst. Here he is when he was spotlighted as our person of the week. We we're so discouraged as a community with the, with the no snitch philosophy and really didn't know what the antidote was. Um, and I think just be us, Detroit 300, being in the streets, talking to people, and being able to relate to people, that's the other thing, that when you talk to us, you're not, it's not like you're talking to police. He's still the only African American to win the Pulitzer Prize for the Wall Street Journal. And even though he was a Kentucky native, you would have thought he was born right here in the Motor City with the huge impact that he made here. We certainly feel sorry for his family, his wife. Both of them were pillars of journalism in this town, uh, and they were just good community people. So we feel for them. Uh, just too young for someone like him to leave here. Henderson's wife, Felicia, is an award-winning editor with the Detroit News, and as Chuck said, of course, our thoughts with her and the rest of her family tonight. Reporting from, live from the newsroom, Julie Bonovich, 7 Action News. Big, big loss for our community. Julie, thank you very much.